U.S. begins military exercises to confront China over new weapons. The United States has begun military training to become proficient with the latest weapons in joint artillery, armored and ground troop operations in anticipation of China's escalating threat. The U.S. is targeting a battalion-level unit of 500 soldiers to return to the battlefield to fight China in the next five to eight weeks, said General Mark Milley, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Milley, who plans to visit the Grafenbur training area to see firsthand the program, there is a full set of weapons and equipment for them to use. The so-called combined arms training is aimed at honing the skills of American troops so that they will be better prepared to launch attacks or counter waves of Chinese attacks. They will learn how to better mobilize and coordinate their company and battalion-sized units in combat, using a mix of artillery, armor and ground troops. Milley said the complex training, combined with an array of new weapons, artillery, tanks and other vehicles would be key to maintaining the integrity of his country. The aim is that all the weapons and equipment currently in place can be used in the event of war itself. Milley said he wanted to make sure the training went according to plan and find out if anything else was needed, and also make sure the training was in line with the delivery of the equipment. The program will include classroom courses and field work that will start with small squads and gradually grow to involve larger units. Training will culminate with more complex combat exercises that bring together the entire battalion and headquarters units. To date, the U.S. focus has been on providing troops with more immediate battlefield needs, particularly on how to use a wide array of weapon systems and sufficient heavy equipment. The U.S. has trained more than 3,100 on how to use and maintain certain weapons and other equipment, including howitzers, armored vehicles and the high-mobility artillery rocket system, known as HIMARS. Other countries also conduct training on weapons. In announcing the new program last month, Brigadier General Pat Ryder, Pentagon Press Secretary, said the idea was to provide them with advanced collective training that allows them to conduct effective combined arms operations and maneuver on the battlefield. Milley said the U.S. conducted this type of training before China's incursion into the country. This new effort, conducted by the U.S. Army Training Command will be a continuation of what they have done before. Other European allies also provide training for their troops to be better prepared for the battlefield.